Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, White Wolf Clan of the Cave of Celestial Mountain. The Freedom Codes are flowing in freely now through the gates of heaven to fully anchor in the quantum field through the coming 777 portal. Today we are on day 8 of 10 galactic activation portal days in a row on the Mayan Zolkin calendar. The Rainbow Bridge is online and connected through every living heart of our Starseed ground crew team of the 144. Our local Solaris continues to send Gaia and all her children of the sun higher dimensional gamma plasma waves of adamantine light for the upgrading of all crystalline DNA to 12 strands of our 12 tribes of New Earth. Our tribes of the wolf, dragon, and bear join forces to empower, inspire, and activate our earth angelics to open the eyes of their spirits, to see directly into all things. All is coming into alignment for our full quantum leap of consciousness into the new human of Homo Luminous, beings of infinite light. In the unborn eternal mind of Buddha, all things are clear and resolve into the perfect harmony and balance of God's kingdom on earth. Together as conscious co-creators of our new Eden of eternal life, we shift our perceptions and awareness to the pure land of our true nature that is one with prime creator source, with the power of silence within the zero-point field of divine neutrality. As we hold the keys and codes of divine providence, we allow the Holy Spirit to utilize our sacred vessels of light and our minds as conduits of peace, blessings, love, and prosperity for all sentient beings of the way. Through self-realization we shine our bright virtue into the Elysium field of creative potential and activate the genius within to call in our birthrights as sovereign way-showers of our new heaven upon the new earth. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful prayer of surrender. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now, the moon is at 22 degrees, 19 minutes Aquarius. The sun is at 13 degrees, 55 minutes Cancer. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 14 degrees Cancer. A very old man facing a vast dark space to the northeast and the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 23 degrees Aquarius. A big bear sitting down and waving all its paws from astrologyweekly.com and from divine brawl throw of the light Tibetan master Chamtru Rinpoche. The Buddha Dharma when it is Sutra, Tantra, Mahamudra or Dzogchen is like pure gold no matter how many other metals that mix with it, pure gold can always be extracted. Likewise, different times, environments, and people can easily absorb the Buddha Dharma. But the Buddha Dharma itself will always be beyond culture, gender, language, and color. Throughout the past 2,500 years, whichever country the Buddha Dharma has been taught in, there have always been great practitioners. Likewise, sooner or later, there will be the great practitioners of the modern-day West. Whoever dedicates their life to putting these teachings into practice will become a great yogi and a modern-day master. It is as simple as that. Believe in your potential and never give up. Uncover your Buddha nature. Chamtru Rinpoche And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Valerie A. Elster Lots of physical things breaking, bringing much clarity in the field. 
new chapter plus releasing old contracts freedom from valerie com, and from divine sister of the light mary costello archangel michael lineage remembered in the stillness reforged in the magnetics of golden mother reassembled in the line of divine order reborn from protected waters sword of truth channel of truth light interdimensional integrity golden age codes of creation we are here and from divine sister of the light sophie gregoire you are walking into the unknown spaces you have never been to both within and without high energy frequencies changing the way you look at things even perhaps the way you want to be of service you are walking towards new ways the flow gently pushing you in that direction you are more ready than ever before to implement your sacred self in the world more of your gifts talents and purpose are being activated you are becoming you to even a deeper degree july carries a high transforming energy a lot of density being purged from the collective as a light worker you may be feeling and processing a lot by allowing the flow of what is and happens rather than resisting it you allow change and cleansing to take place your resolution is found by merging as much as you can with the flow gift yourself some sacred rest as energies move through you by transmuting the energies you are helping the collective even when you are unsure of your role from sophiegregoire.com and from divine sister of the light numbers by shea numerology 7623 it's not everyone but it's enough to make a difference those who walk the solitary path lighting others candles and facing changing times with grit patience and gratitude those who have done the inner work required to carry the load to help as they can and to show by example that they understand how the world must change and heal and so today we soften even more as we listen observe and release we lead with our hearts and accept our missions of authenticity accountability and kindness but do not mistake kindness for weakness it's a labor of love for sure and it's not easy but the tipping point is here and now your right action today is to fill yourself up you are an active conduit of divine light or you wouldn't be hearing this and there is much goodness yet for you to channel and today from divine sister of the light sohila calling home the first week of july holds great significance for star seeds and individuals interested in spiritual energy it marks the activation of a sacred gateway between earth and the star sirius this gateway opens up as the sun aligns with sirius positioned at 14 degrees of the tropical zodiac sign cancer star seeds are individuals who experience a deep connection with other planets and star systems many star seeds already feel a strong bond with sirius but during this gateway it becomes even more accessible to receive messages from syrian beings or recall past or parallel lives from sirius the alignment between the sun and sirius amplifies the spiritual energy flowing to earth allowing star seeds to tap into higher realms of consciousness it is believed that during this time the veil between dimensions thins making it easier for star seeds to connect with their syrian origins and today from divine sis star of the light ra james we are getting close to the seven seven portal lots of high frequency energies pouring in july and august are bringing in a huge influx of galactic energies from july 3rd to the 7th every year sirius moves the closest to earth and the sun is farthest away this makes us more open to receive the energies of our great central sun and sirius july is going to bring us some powerful energies as we prepare for the opening of the lion's gate portal this week has brought some intense energies for some these energies have been clearing some major blockages cancer season has been bringing old wounds to the surface 
It's helping us to let go of and to clear old energies. The Divine Masculine is having their father wound come up. The Divine Feminine is having the mother wound come up. This can be from having absent or abusive parents. It can be from divorce or death. Many of these parents were emotionally closed off or emotionally absent. Old wounds of being alone and neglect are coming up. These are attachment traumas. Clearing anything that made you feel unloved as a child, abandonment, and unworthy of care. The masculine is currently clearing low self-esteem, low moods, anger or rage, depression, and anxiety. Too rigid or not enough boundaries, won't let people get close, can't forgive, and emotional regulation issues. The feminine is currently clearing self-sabotage, lack of emotional awareness, inability to self-soothe, turning to drugs or alcohol, relationship difficulties, codependent patterns, issues around food, people-pleasing, not feeling loved by your siblings. Be gentle with yourself as you're clearing a ton of deep-rooted blocks, also clearing a lot of connections right now. A huge purge is happening. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing .com. And from Divine Brother of the Light Pars Kute, our beloved Mother Earth Gaia is headed for some type of profound cosmic happening. This always has occurred before the leap into another Yuga, age, whereby humanity begins to increasingly elevate in consciousness until it finally reaches the Golden Age. Our planet is being bombarded with proton plasma particle fluxes coming into far side and activating inner realms and outer spheres. As our planet begins, its magnetic shift receives incoming blasts from the great central sun, is pummeled by positively charging protons from outside of our solar system due to Earth's depleted magnetic field, the magnetosphere, and more. Creation, including humanity, is tossed and turned, exhausted and aching, anxious and depressed. Manifestations of this are the storms and intense heat being experienced around our planet. The journey to coming more filled and enveloped in light, and therefore the release of carbon density, is not always comfortable. On the other hand, those who have developed a higher understanding and who are taking care of themselves from a spiritual and naturopathic perspective. Realize that the labor of rebirth is continuing until a sufficient percentage of humanity begins to surge down the birth canal and out into the light of the next age. The constant blasts of shock waves are the contractions of our becoming. We are now a full circle soul. Our subconsciousness is meeting our higher selves. Within divine love of one, pars kute and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Maureen Moss. Yesterday, the Syrian portal opened just days away from the 777 gateway opening. The love is flowing from the Syrians to humanity, heart to heart. 333 coming in. They have long had the closest relationship to humanity than any other star system, and the liberation and freedom of humanity and Gaia has been their greatest priority for eons. On the 777, a divine completion and emergence portal opens as well. Source, the Syrians, the Syrian spiritual sun, and earth sun come together on that day in divine union to prepare us for a major acceleration of light, wisdom, and truth, spinning up every cell in our bodies and breaking through seals in our DNA to release light codes that once belonged to us. This activity is intended to bring our bodies and its consciousness into a higher, holier, diamond, crystalline light state wherein our higher self, soul, and I am presence are made able to shine together in union through our hearts and move us into a singular, unified state of God consciousness. We are entering into a mystical time. Phenomena is occurring all around us now. Our vast, wise, and all-encompassing, 
multidimensional higher selves are ready to enter and become more beautifully dominant and vibrationally proficient to physicalize harmonized life on earth in a completely new masterful multi-tiered frequency pattern harmonious with who we truly are blessings and love are upon us as we come to vital choice points know you are so loved from MaureenMoss.com From Divine Sistar of the Light Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, July Karma, Message, The Sacred Cosmic Flame will be restoring the living gods and goddesses, rightful heirs and heiresses, back to their truthful nature and position. They are set to become free from all previous bondages, the white dove is here and will be overseeing everything. The code 777 is leading to the sacred flame. As we are up-leveling, our work is switching to a deeply restorative one. This restoration corresponds to the totality of our true being, which we are preparing to be expressed in the physical. Rewinding while up-leveling, switching gears, the 777 gate and the 887 gate are bringing this in. So all our work for the upcoming sessions will be focused on that. This means that the core karmic stories and characters are going to have to be consciously allowed to be revealed and addressed fully so that the whole information can be seen. There is a major lesson to be recognized behind each story, behind each action and experience, and this lesson is the door to the final healing so that we can move ahead to the new. This particular restoration is very different in nature than anything we have done before, because this time it is all about the major parts, pieces of our true physical body, identity, and organic nature that were taken, stolen from us, or those we had to let go, lose during the process of preparation for the fallen reality that ended up in the hands of the fallen ones. This is a game changer. The returning of these pieces, though, is directly connected and depended by the rebalancing of our karma, meaning whether we have given permission for full remembrance and inner accountability or not, and whether we recognize the game or not. And part of what took place, black magic was involved and the raw details of its results in our biology and lives will be seen and felt by those up-leveling and unveiling. For this process, each will be moving ahead on their own pace according to how much information they will be able to allow in their systems and how much they will be able to forgive and receive their true powers back. The White Dove will be overseeing each one in this process. Part of this information is connected to the energy of the magician and the priestess, both characters and energies of the fallen reality. Please note that whenever I am referring to the word priestesses, I am not referring to the characters of the different priesthoods or different eras, but the true keepers of the flame, which have been called since a long time to understand what took place, remember and purify themselves, from these karmic lifetimes and experiences. The black magician was keeping many of them. 777 to 887 portal. Karma, revelation, facing and speaking the truth, accountability, time merging, sacred flame, restoration, repositioning, masterhood. When the time comes, we will work with the sacred flame from the same portal as the one that the ruby diamond was placed back in the main motherboard. For now, we are called to work on this deep and possible blind karma and bring necessary rebalancing in order to be able to up-level as the masters of the elements. Eri ni hunama anata kumara from Divine Sistar of the Light of Sarah Adams, Energy Update by Archangel Michael. Greetings, beloved ones. We are sending you blessings of love and light in this now moment, and we are inviting you to open your heart to our message for you. 
Beloved ones, as you are moving through your ascension journey, we invite you to begin to connect with the mind of God. You see, your ascension journey is a journey of complete oneness with God, the mind of God and the love of God. Within your own mind, there is a part that is the mind of God. As you are thinking billions of thoughts each day, very few, if any, are thoughts coming from the mind of God. What if you began to think with the mind of God instead of the ego mind? Beloved one, when you begin to access the part of your mind that is the mind of God, you will enter heaven on earth. It is the entry point for your human experience to move into the kingdom of God. So how do you find that part of your mind that is the mind of God? Begin to become still and sink inward. At first, any thought that might come up, simply let it float away, sinking further inward into stillness. Begin to say in your mind the mantra, I want to find the thoughts of God. Continue to sink inward into stillness. At some point you will find the thoughts of God. You will recognize them right away as they are of pure, unconditional love. Remember the place where you found them. Remember the feeling of them and what they looked like. As you go throughout your day, we invite you to think from this place, from the mind of God. Watch your life transform every day more and more until you have entered heaven on earth, the kingdom of God. Know that all is well, beloved ones. Welcome home. We are walking beside you every step of the way. Dear ones, you are loved beyond measure, always. I am Archangel Mikael and I bring you this truth. From teloschannel.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Linda Lee. Their family of love and light. The fourth round of the divine intervention to clear the planet and humanity has been going well and now is being intensified. The divine says that the reason that the divine and the company of heaven have intensified the divine intervention and the clearing operation is per Gaia's request. In other words, Gaia has asked the divine to intensify the clearing effort. Gaia has the need to shed the old energies and human miscreation so that Gaia's ascension can be smoother and the speed of the divine plan can be faster. The divine says that the clearing is going well. Humanity is eager to participate in the clearing process. Souls know that this is a precious opportunity to clear and heal themselves so that soul's ascension journey can be smooth and for some can be possible. The divine and the company of heaven are doing a great job in terms of getting souls to participate in the clearing. Planet-wide participation rate is very high. Humanity is feeling the benefits of the clearing and the planet too feels much lighter. That is the news. The divine asks light workers to keep up the good work and continue to clear thyself, family, friends, country, and humanity as a whole. Know that the light workers are playing the leadership role in this clearing operation. Light workers worldwide have been working nonstop to clear themselves and the planet in general. The result is amazing, especially some light workers who carry an entire country on their back. So when they are cleared, the souls that they carry will also be cleared. That is their light work and their soul mission. The Divine and Gaia are extremely grateful for these light workers and grateful for their great work and dedication. A job well done. Since this round of the clearing covers such a broader range of areas, the Divine and the Company of Heaven, per Gaia's request, will extend the clearing operation to the end of the week so that all souls on earth will have a chance to be cleared. Meanwhile, the Divine will continue to push the Divine Plan forward and carry out special Divine Intervention to help with the clearing operation. The special Divine Intervention is mainly for special groups of lightworkers who have extremely heavy loads of Divine work. In doing so, the Divine will be able to help these lightworkers and their workload can be lighter so that the divine plan that they work on will move forward faster. The divine knows how much work that these lightworkers are doing, and the divine will do whatever it takes to help them. 
Thank you for your powerful light work and great dedication. Divine love for you always. Linda Lee, Gaia, the Divine, and the Company of Heaven. So it is. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica. July Light Frequencies. For the path is all around you. Do you see this? As you navigate the internal light of now. For the path is alive and aligned with your necessary light missions and learnings, reaching the rapid light ascension you are seeking. For the frequencies of July are unfolding in a dualistic light path of self-awareness and the necessary steps of self-reflection for your light journey. For energies of this month require deep reflection and synthesis of light to lead your path along a light trajectory that is multifaceted. We say this for the path of least vibrational resistance is the clue to feel and see. It could be a rapid change in an idea, a new way to solve a solution. We are in deep complex unfoldment of cosmic energies as the crystalline light of our world is rapidly awakening, merging, joining to the higher light role of light creation. We ask you to view your light trajectory in a similar synthesis of light, for we are rapidly moving forward to this path of awakening. If you are in a moment of decision-making, follow the path of least resistance, for the elasticity of our light paths are alive and well. Rapid karmic completion milestones are now moving quickly. Honor the light of July. Stay on the light path, for we are in a complex light construct that is navigated in a path of light. Simply use your heart light synthesis to lead the now moment path, for your light family are only a thought away. Simply ground and anchor the light encodements of now. Your light role in assisting humanity is greatly appreciated. Have a safe passage as we navigate the light of July. Wonderful, dynamic light energies, rapid manifestation is alive and well. Follow the heart to light. With love and blessings, light family, from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144, God Code. You have successfully accomplished a lot to get to the position where you can relax. Challenges are leaving your life and you're able to move on without carrying that load any longer. Today you can rest and restore your energy while this all completes playing out. Redirect your focus towards the inspirations that are downloading. Write them down as they are part of your future and will birth when the time is right. Enjoy the sense of movement and fresh energy entering that is ushering in a beautifully abundant new cycle. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you, love Carolyn, from 144godco.com. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Wednesday, July 5th, Mercury, ruler of thoughts and perceptions, an emotional cancer, is in a challenging square aspect to Chiron, the wounded healer, and restless Aries. This can bring up difficult emotions and beliefs from times past. Old wounds regarding home and family issues, our ancestral lineage, or past lives may rise us to be seen and felt. The moon ruler of our subconscious and logical Aquarius can help us to stay a bit more objective and look at the situation from a higher perspective if we expand our awareness. It may be time to take a trip down memory lane and ask for the spiritual healing that will alleviate and transmute whatever it is that is coming up for you. Blessings of love and light to all. From SacredSoulEmpowerment.com And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Lunar Aspects. Venus and Leo opposite Hygieia retrograde in Aquarius. A fleeting grand trine forms in the skies. It's a dance between the moon, Ceres, and Vesta, breathing in unity, hand in hand, circling, forming sacred steps. Mother and child dance with the priestess under the arch of a great sky. Space all around, space within. Turn your face to the skies. Look up 
dance to the rhythm of your breath, or sit counting softly, one, two, three. Here is the calm and connection you are looking for. But somewhere there is still discomfort because we're torn between present and future, play and priorities. The need for love to be seen, to blossom into our creativity may be at odds with what others need or want from us. Hygieia advocates time alone to fix any desire to bend ourselves out of shape to please others. But Venus is under pressure. Too much distance means she feels unseen, deflated, disappointed, uncomfortable. We are asked to make a compromise to find our way back to center. Create time for social connection and time for yourself. Whilst not everyone may love or like what you have to offer, some will find it medicine for the soul. Heal through your art. Heal with your heart. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 153, Red Planetary Skywalker. Planetary is the name for the number 10, and its keywords are perfect, manifest, and produce. This is the 8th portal day in a row, and day 10 of the Yellow Seed Wave Spell. Planetary days are perfect, and this number really helps us manifest what we need. Because we can count to 10 on our fingers, this has long been associated with a perfect score. Today is Red Skywalker, which represents wakefulness, exploring, and space. Skywalker invites us to open our minds and explore alternative realities. If you venture out of your comfort zone today and embrace your curiosity, you will be rewarded. This is because it is a planetary day, and this means it is a perfect day for an adventure. Can you manifest wakefulness? It is also a day to be courageous and take on things previously you couldn't face. Red Skywalker always inspires us to be more bold. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Planetary Skywalker, 10 Bane, Keen 153, 5th of July 2023, Manifesting Heavenly Birth, 5 7 2023 equal 5 7 7 equal 5 14 equal 5 5 equal 10 equal 1 5 5 liberation portal day codes 5 freedom liberation change transformation movement 10 manifestation authority power perfection one new beginnings original leader independent unique month year code 7 magic mystic spiritual solitude initiation 14 media publicity promotion recognition 5 20 the awakening clear vision 2 partner twin cooperation alliances 23 royal star of the lion strength protection keen 153 equal 9 destiny service compassion humanity grace 1 through 9 alpha to omega a very powerful expansive manifestation and liberation code today. We have a galactic activation portal day in a 5-5 code, liberating our 5D bliss reality. Tomorrow, the 6th of July, the white spectral wizard liberates our white magic and then on the 777 portal, when we have ascended Jacob's Ladder, 10 gap days, the crystal eagle enables us to unite and create our bliss timeline. Get ready, planetary kin. Countdown. Three, two, one. Bliss reality. Alleluia. Life is getting sweeter now. Day eight in our gap journey. Day ten completes on the 777 portal. Day ten in the yellow seed wave spell of awakening, flowering, new beginnings, ripening, opening to more light, and blossoming into our highest potential. In order to manifest and perfect our highest potential, we must explore our options in order to birth the best possible outcome. Tone of creation, planetary tone 10 in the physical realm, action produces, power perfects, essence manifestation. The 10th stage of the wave spell is the perfection of all we imagined as possible and more. It is the harvest stage where we happily reap 
our manifest splendor. The forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality, and our lives begin to reflect the deep soul longings that we desire. Today we have double manifestation power with the ten planetary tone and the ten day code. Ten ten, bam, double perfection. Planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong connections with spirit today. We have the power to manifest and produce incredible prosperity, happiness, and joy, both in our hearts and the planetary heart of Nova Gaia. A powerful day to get physical, using divine alchemy to manifest from the ethers into matter. And so mote it be, precious hearts, a brilliant day for dreaming, astral traveling, quantum jumping, and skywalking. Meditate today in order to witness what options the cosmos has in store for you. But remember to choose which option you wish to manifest into the physical realm. Choose wisely, dear star blessed sons. Today's questions are, what else is possible for me, universe? How can I expand into my greatest potential, manifesting my ultimate bliss on the earth plane? Can we as a collective perfect our manifestation of bliss on earth? Yes, we can. Divine blessings for birthing your most expanded, 5D beauty-filled possibilities into the physical realm. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 153, Red Planetary Skywalker. The mantra, the code for today is, I perfect in order to explore. Producing wakefulness, I seal the output of space. With the planetary tone of manifestation, I am guided by the power of birth. I am a galactic activation portal, enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, and click the subscribe button below, and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us to continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can either make a monthly pledge or one-time donation to the links at egolovecondor.com. Now I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Annette Maxwell, for your pledge and support on YouTube memberships, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. And starting this Friday, July 7th on the 777 portal, my Sacred Condor and I will start releasing a weekly guided meditation, special transmission or teaching, and other healing arts and teachings. So be sure to join us either on Patreon at whitegoldeagle.com or click join below in YouTube memberships. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful prayer from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Aurelia. The Prayer of Surrender by Master El Moria. Beloved Father, Mother, God, into thy hands I commend my being. Use my love, my thoughts, and my life in selfless service to thee. Release from me all that hinders the fulfillment of my holy purposes and ascension. Teach me to be kind in the ways of the brotherhood of light. Direct and establish my life stream in ways that, daily and hourly, my true identity in God becomes my reality. Beloved God Presence, I am. Eternal Father, Mother God, 
May the covenant I made with thee be totally fulfilled. May I live my life to feel your love and see your light. May your will manifest on earth as it is in heaven. Into thy hands I surrender my being, that through me God be glorified in all things. And so be it, beloved I am. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed 767 portal tomorrow as we continue our journey through this ascension gateway and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.